Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Sharon and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I DIY a tabletop fire bowl featuring citronella fire glass. Now that the weather has gotten warmer, we're spending a lot more time outdoors. We're enjoying our deck all hours of the day. But towards the evening time, as the sun starts to set and those little critters starts to come out, this tabletop fire bowl with citronella fire glass is the perfect addition to your patio and deck decor. It's beautiful to look at because of the glow of the fire and it's functional because of the citronella fire glass. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Leave me a comment. Would you use a tabletop fire bowl in your backyard? I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. This is a terracotta pot that I got from Hobby Lobby and I paid $9.99 for it. And then I spray painted it gray, uh, a, a matte gray, almost like a primer gray because I wanted that stone look and I love the way it turned out. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is take this Traeger bucket liner. It's used for your barbecue grills, but I thought this will be a perfect place for me to use it in the fire bowl because it will lend itself to, well, let me take the paper off. But it's, oh, it acts as like a little cage for the actual fire bowl. So when the canister, when my, uh, when my canister runs out, all I have to do is take it out of here to replace it. Put a new one in, take the old one out. To keep the rocks from falling into the bucket, I'm going to cover it with a little chicken wire. So I got this chicken wire at Michael's. And I believe it was $2.99 for this roll. So I'm just going to double it up. Connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'll leave some additional photos to this video over there. Make sure you stop by and take a look. So I think that's going to work really well. It's all centered just enough to make the holes within the chicken wire not so large. But I am going to go around and trim it off just a little more because I think it's a little longer. It's a little bigger than it should be. So I'm going to trim it some. These Real Flames Fireplace Fuel Gels are uh, really cool. Um, I like working with them, but they are very dangerous. They are, um, so if you're going to be using it on a patio or on a deck or near uh, fabrics or cushions and things like that, um, this is just what is a PSA as you can say. Just be careful. Fireplace fuel canisters are very flammable, highly flammable, so never leave them unattended. So I'm going to open this one. That's what they look like inside. They look like jello. Now I'm going to sit the top back on there temporarily. And then I'm going to cover this. I got these white rocks from Michaels. Um, I believe they were $7.99 a canister. I went with the ones from Michaels as opposed to the ones from Dollar Tree because the ones at Dollar Tree are a smaller stone. I like them, but I thought that they may fall through the chicken wire and I didn't want that. I wanted a larger piece that I knew wouldn't, wouldn't be such a problem when it came time to change out uh, the canister. But then I decided after I had purchased these that I really wanted to go with the fire glass, the citronella fire glass in a blue color. So it can not only be pretty, but it can also be functional in keeping the mosquitoes away. And I would use these rocks in the bottom as a filler.
and then I don't have to use so much of the fire glass. Now you can purchase these online or at Costco's or places like that. I think even Amazon. Or you can do like I did and DIY your own. I'm going to move the chicken wire out of the way just a little bit to take the canister lid off. Oh, I love the blue. I'll put the chicken wire back over the top and then I can add the rest of the wire. Trying to be careful not to put any of the rocks inside the jail. I couldn't decide whether to go with the river rock or whether to go with the fire glass. I'm glad I went with the fire glass. But don't get me wrong because the river rocks are just as pretty. I love the way this fire bowl turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And that Centronella fire glass lends a sparkle that you just can't beat. I hope you enjoyed this video and how I DIY my tabletop fire bowl with Citronella fire glass. If you did, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.